Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends reveal video on the Amazon exclusive Marvel Legends Venom Symbiote 3 pack that was just announced this morning. This pre-order is going up at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is 10 minutes away from when I'm recording this. So it should already be live if they're still available. A uh, really quick announcement. I will be at PowerCon in Ohio this weekend. So I hope to see you there if you're over on the East Coast. So I hope to see you over at PowerCon. And if you're trying to get your other Marvel Legends, you can do so at... Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you. Link below. So I was surprised to see Hasbro make another reveal announcement just shortly after Comic-Con. I don't know what the deal is. It probably has something to do with the Amazon exclusive thing. But yeah, the packaging looks really nice. And uh, the price point actually isn't too bad on this one. $75. bucks. we will get into that a little bit more. But yeah, I didn't expect Hasbro to give us another reveal uh, just so soon after Comic-Con. It's just a little bit weird. Uh, on the back of the packaging, you can see they have bios. And everything and you can see uh, what everything's going to be included in this set over here so Venom's gonna get interchangeable heads we're gonna get a transitioning Eddie Brock head which I think is great it looks really good uh, it looks I, I can't tell the eyebrow color right here but we'll see some more images in a little bit and we're getting fist hands for the agony figure so that makes me happy to see as well and again, I mentioned the price point. Uh, I think I think it's seventy five bucks plus tax, so you're getting you know like a thirty five dollar deluxe figure with the riot, and then two twenty dollar figures. Hey, that adds up right at seventy five. So anyway, agony. Uh, the shriek body mold. I think it looks great on this figure. I am very happy that they've made this choice to, you know, incorporate this body mold more often. That makes me very happy to see. I'm seeing the reuse of the old school Kate Bishop body a whole lot less. So uh, the fact that Hasbro has been hearing my cries makes me happy. Just seeing them reuse the body mold that I like, it, 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 it's satisfying to see. Really nice looking head sculpt too, right? Um, the Riot figure, you know, I gotta say, man, this extra large body mold for Riot, like, <clears throat> I like it, but at the same time, I, I feel like it's a little too much. The reason why I like it is that it's so big, it's going to fit nicely behind the other Life Foundation figures. It's going to play a nice backdrop. Like, you want him to kind of, you know, to, to stand out, not totally be drowned out by the rest of the Life Foundation figures if you're having them all on one display. But at the same time, I feel like it's a little too big for Riot from what I remember. But yeah, the and the paint apps do look a little bit weird. I was expecting a little bit more of a gray color going on. So, um I, I'm still happy that it's part of this set over here. It feels like I'm I'm not paying, you know, a premium on this reused body mold, and it comes with the with the new uh, scythe uh, effect right over there for the left side or right side, whatever. So anyway, we've seen right already. Let's move on to the brand new figure, and that is this new Venom. And yeah, well, we've asked for this many times. They gave it to us before with the animated series colors, and finally we're getting it with the regular. Black and white for Venom with the new head sculpt right there, of course, which I really dig a lot. Uh, it looks like they gave him the black eyebrow, so that's good. I, I like the facial expression over there also. So uh, They've added tendrils to the shoulders, as been recommended by a lot of us out there. You got a squiggly port on each side, and that new Venom head sculpt does look really good. I like that, and the tongue flailing back behind it. I like the new look the different design i don't know about this pose right over here but looking really good especially that eddie brock head i mean it gives us a nice clear shot of that eddie brock head anyway so i'm happy to see that and i like how it has the the motion going with the tendrils over the top of the head too that looks really good and again this new venom symbiote head right here i, I like it it's it's not my ideal design i don't think it says Bagley looking as I personally would like. Bagley probably being my favorite Venom artist, but I really like this regardless. It's not the biggest teeth that I've seen on Venom, but I still think it's a cool design. I don't know. Something about the way it whips in a half circle like that behind his head. It's, that it looks weird, but I still like it. I don't know. So I'm a sucker for Venom. Venom's my second favorite Spider-Man villain, man. So what do you want me to say? And then there's another closer look at that Eddie Brock head sculpt. 
Is that a black eyebrow or a brown eyebrow? I'm very serious about this eyebrow thing, man. He's got to have the black eyebrows, right? But anyway, what do you guys think? I think this is actually, for the first time in a long time, a fair price point from Hasbro. 75 bucks, dude. Can you complain about that? For real, because if you think these figures are worth 20 bucks a piece, and if you think the deluxe figure is worth 35 bucks, which I clearly think it is, let me just double check. Oh, $77.99. Available in December, Amazon exclusive. So $77.99. So a little, three bucks more than I thought. But still, dude, I mean, I think that's a really good price point for what we're... That, that's a solid price point is what I'm getting at. Especially if we feel like the regular figures should be worth about 20 bucks and a deluxe figure being worth 35 bucks. It just adds up to me. Uh, and I'm sure people are still going to be really pissed off about it, but to me it adds up and I'm excited for this set. I'm going to pre-order it right now. Uh, I want to know what you guys think. Also, stay tuned. I'm going to have an actual Marvel Legends review up later today on Darwin. Yeah, I'm um, way overdue on reviewing the last figures of my Bone Breaker wave. So Darwin up today. Hopefully I get it taken care of. I uh, have a lot of stuff going on still. Power Con's coming up soon. So hope to see you guys over there. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hit that like button, subscribe button and notification bell. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.